Hey guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is a video on a new uh, project that I'm investing in. Um, so yeah, we'll go we'll go straight over to it. Um, so there's a, there's a few moving parts here, and it is quite complex. There's a there's a as a definite um, complex um, token token functionality model and tokenomics. So but yeah, I'll, I'll give it I'll give it my best shot of explaining it to you guys. Um, but for, but first and foremost, though, I will tell you guys why the, the, the very simple reasons why I'm investing in it. Um, it is it is potentially a long shot. Um, it is from the the core the devs the developers of Core, which um, is a pretty pretty well respected um, protocol, and the developers of Core are pretty good. Um, they they've come up with um, plenty of um, new and in innovative ideas. Um, in the crypto space, so it is from the core devs. Um, first and foremost, it's from the core devs. <laughs> it is going to be it is it is linked to the actual core uh, core token itself. Um, they basically get part of the fees from this new core dex uh, platform that is being built. So what core dex is? Um, core dex is it going to be a platform for? Um, well, crypto derivatives and crypto futures, but a, a decentralized one. Um, so that is exciting in itself. Um, obviously, like I said, um, the platform has got to get has obviously got to got to got to come into fruition. Um, it's got to be got to be good and got to get used, obviously, for for um, the success of this project and, and this token. Um, but if it does, if it does, then the rewards um, basically will be huge. Um, if if it does actually um, do what um, what basically they're attempting to do and um, and yeah like I said the core developers are top developers within crypto they've um, they've come up with um, uh, a few different token standards and ideas and 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 one which is and one new one which is included in this new token so um, I will put it simply I like the idea of these uh, of these options um, and futures um, decks I like uh, core they've got a proven track record the devs know what they're doing and then I also like um, basically what what they've now come up with so um, they are the reasons <laughs> they are the reasons guys um, so yeah core vault here you, go. you can see core vault this is just um, this is just their token core vault what is it um, core is a non-inflationary cryptocurrency that's designed to execute, execute profit generating strat strategies autonomously uh, within a completely decentralized approach so that's basically what core is um, and if you're a holder of core you're thinking well what are the devs going to do next are they still are they still are they still interested in driving this project on are they still working well here is your answer um, they are developing a whole dex um, they have developed new token standard a new token um, a new way of driving liquidity for this so there they are these are the guys right now proving to you um, that they are they are on the board and they're still on the board they're still trying to drive this um, and then they are doing that um, through um, through a way that we can we can take um, take basically uh, take advantage of getting in early so what is a token? What are they doing? Am I going to talk? Finally, talk about the token. So basically, we are going to. Um, if you read, this is the black paper for Core Devs. Basically, I'll quickly summarise this view. This view. They want to make a. Um, they want to make uh, an options, options in a futures um, trading uh, market. But there's problems with liquidity. Um, here's you can have a lot of liquidity forever, but no one really wants to do that. You can have completely unlocked liquidity, and lots of people want to do that. Um, it's great attracting capital and then they've got a new type of liquidity so this is the one open vested liquidity which is neither locked nor unlocked uh, at any given point um so yeah open open vested liquidity ovl is a, is a new type of liquidity um and that's all you really need to know from this um so there you go so how are they providing this uh, liquidity so this brings us to um the token the project the side project the, the kind of the kind of conjoined um delta financial and what delta financial Del and the delta token is it is the it is the means it is the main means of liquidity um for this core deck so if you guys want to check this out i'll put the links in the description this is um this is the link to um delta financials medium they've got quite a few uh, medium articles on here introducing we're going to go through a couple of these not all of them so you guys can look through the rest of them if you want to yourself they've got introducing delta finance um what basically tokenizing 
open vesting liquidity how they do it and um, then they've got a then they've got the limited staking window which is what has opened today for 10 days which is how you obtain the delta uh well it's not how you obtain delta because that's not available yet um but how you obtain the rlp tokens and then the deep then it explains the deep farming vault yield maximization uh, strategy and um, there is a delta referral problem now i i can literally tell you guys absolute hand on heart someone sent me this project um someone that uh, only pops up every now and again um someone that definitely knows this stuff um and said yeah have you seen this dan um and then i was like right check it out had a look at it and um and that's when i saw the referral program um so this i i can honestly and truly hand on heart tell you guys i am not i'm not doing a video on this to tell you guys about this just because it's got a referral program um but incidentally the pro referral program is similar to wise where if you use uh my referral link um you get you get you get 10 percent more of the rlp tokens and i basically get a, a 10 percent kick back as well um and if you don't use a if you don't use a code you don't get the kick back if you do use the code then you do um so there you go but but like i said guys that's not why i'm promoting this um, i'm gonna obviously go through it in a lot of detail you can see why it is not just like you guys know from my chat i talk about this coin and this this coin and that coin um just all these crazy little um pretty much just um fly by night coins are here and then they're gone um but this this literally this this as i've showed you core has been around for a while um they as i explained to you at the start core is um still um it's still doing its thing for its current holders um developing um new um strategies new platforms um new ways uh to basically grow that ecosystem um so that that proves that it's not just like these over on bs buying our smart chain the the food the food swaps basically that whole phase we went through with uniswap uh, fair enough we had unis well with Uniswap, we had all the food swaps and then um, it was only really sushi swap that actually came out, out of anything. Um, so yeah, um, this is not obviously not a food. This is this is so far from a food token. This is like a, this is a grown ups token, and and, and that is not to say that. Um, all the food tokens you can't make loads of money from them they're not fun um but they are basically that's like what you do they're just like they're just like playing games you just they're just they're temporary they're not they're not the um they're not the um <laughs> they're not the adult tokens um like like potential like i i would say wise is an adult token um and i would say this is an adult token as well <laughs> what a, what a bad uh way to um talk about these tokens but anyway plenty of um plenty of medium articles here so we are going to go to the first one uh, introduction uh introducing delta finance so um again again this is just basically what what's in the uh, in the black paper for core decks because this token is basically doing what we need to do in this one um so yeah um information between options markets and underlying assets takes longer to be reflected due to uh, the relative illiquid illiquid side of the options trading compared to spot markets um so yep yeah, so nature of options um basically illiquid as you go um further um uh, well further well away from the money either in or out um so um and yep yeah, and basically this is explaining that um so what we're going to have we're going to have this delta liquidity model open investing liquidity permanent lot liquidity and um, this is basically the delta token and this is through the um rlp which are the tokens that you can currently buy at the moment um here's the tokenomics um you guys can check this out if you want to have a look um so what is going on at the moment what is going on at the moment um at the moment is the is a 10 if you just go to this one this here you can see this is their website we have got the limited staking window it has opened it opened this afternoon um it is open for 10 days so nine hours 18 uh nine days 18 hours left um you can see total contrib contributions so far are 3279 ethereum so that's quite a lot of an ethereum um at current prices like obviously um when wise when i was contribute contributing ethereum into wise ethereum when i first started basically ethereum was practically um 4x lower what well, was 4x lower if not more than that lower than what it basically has been recently um so yeah this is a lot of lot of dollar value quite soon um so yeah if you if you sign if you basically contribute now you get a bonus because you're early this is a sliding scale you start at 30 percent. it's down to 29 now uh, and this will slide down obviously to zero over the 10 days um and also if you use the link you get 10 percent uh 10 bonus as well 
Um, I have contributed five Ethereum to this um, so far. It's not reflected on here because I've done it on my um, my trading PC, uh, not this not this PC. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I've contributed five ETH, and I'm considering contributing more, but I'm actually thinking, um, do I want to, um, because basically I was, thinking of putting I was thinking of putting 10 ETH in it, that's my limit, so I'll either put another five ETH into here, um, I've already put five ETH in, or I will look um, to look at basically buying the Delta token when it goes live and just staking the Delta token. Um, because obviously with these tokens I'll earn Delta uh, but I could just buy a chunk of Delta when it goes live and then stake that Delta so um, I'm, that's what I'm looking at so why is this token why is this token so special how does it work how does it work so basically there are a few things you need to know about this token um, this token has a built-in vesting schedule right so if you go to Uniswap you buy Delta um, you basically you have to hold that delta before you get all of that delta you've bought you have to wait 14 days and it gets vested I didn't word that that very well basically you don't get all the delta straight away you get 10% and then 90% gets unlocked on a on a on a daily basis for 14 days so that's that is where the open vested liquidity um, for the for the protocol comes from from that from that basically that um, delta that you don't have access to so whenever you transfer it 90% is locked um, on a sliding scale for 14 days, the end of the 14 days, you basically will have it all back. Obviously, at seven days, you'll have half, you'll have fought half of it back. Um, so yeah, you guys understand that. So that obviously holds um, means the token will hold its value. Anyone that ends that ends that period early, um, those um, immature tokens they're called, so vest tokens that are no, not un, un, not invested invested um that aren't in the person's wallet um that did the transfer they basically those tokens then go back into the deep farming pool and get distributed as rewards there um so that is the first aspect of the token that you need to know um it is an it's so and that that is a basically new token standard that is new uh that is new to crypto no doubt there will be a load of um a load of um scammy scammy ruggy projects um um copying copying this token uh, tokenomics of this token <laughs> and then doing that doing their various um, various um, little projects that they do um, so but anyway but this again this is not like one of those sort of tokenomic plays this is a this is providing liquidity to a, a legitimate a legitimate dex uh, platform um, that wants to be a an options and futures trading um, uh, platform with with deep liquidity that people are able to use and is fully decentralized so this is not just one of those sort of coins where we're just in it for the tokenomics the pumping the bit getting in early the the, the transaction the four percent transaction fees etc is nothing like that whilst yeah they are they are basically transaction fees um if you if you don't hold the tokens for 14 days yeah so um so there you go i've explained that to you um that is a vesting schedule um so also what um what happens with these what what rewards do you get so what rewards do you get guys so basically um you get um, rewarded in actual ethereum and delta um, if you kind of show on here the yield rewards are if you're if you're holding just the delta token and you stake the delta token then your rewards will be delta and ethereum and the rewards multiplier will be variable um see it's on here to me to explain it's very it's variable basically um between um between one uh, and ten is basically the bonus that you'll get um and um basically um you have to reinvest 10 percent a week to maintain the multiplier so this um this multiplier comes down is it's quite complex guys and uh, it's quite com it's not actually that complex i don't mean to insult your intelligence but it's 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 complex for me to explain very quickly um but yeah the staking bonus comes down but what you can buy what I, what you can buy right now um in this limited staking window is the rlp token so you buy this rlt but rlp tokens uh, if you buy them early you get you get extra of them um and also if you use referral link you get extra of them too and then what this means you get a fixed uh, fixed equivalent of of basically 30x delta rewards and the multiplier remains the same and doesn't change um but just note that multiplier depend on the total rlp minted during the lsw so that's obviously how much people put in um and can vary uh, 30x is just the best effort estimate by the team um so yeah this is the one where you basically get the best rewards um, but you actually you are you are pretty much locked into these tokens 
Um, there's no way, there won't be any way to sell them immediately. But what, what will happen with these tokens, these RLP tokens, um, there is a rebasing mechanism built. And I'm not talking like a rebase like base or anything like that. There's a rebasing mechanism which makes min minting these tokens become, um, after the limited staking window closes, minting these tokens becomes 10% more expensive every day. Uh, so the aim is basically to create is to create no more of these available or because they'll just be too expensive to buy. So people that buy them now, um, especially people that buy them today, will be getting for the best price they will ever be, um, ever, ever be. Um, and if this project is successful, no one else will be able to buy these. You'll be sat there reaping those rewards, those benefits. Um, and that is, the, that is the potential massive upside that, um, that I'm hoping I'm hoping to swing for the fence and hit um so yeah there you go um yeah here are the deep um de well the delta deep farming vault reward distribution so if you just hold data uh delta <laughs> sorry um basically delta um what happens is um how it how it works is that is um is that 80 percent is delta of 80 percent of the rewards is delta uh, and 20 percent is eth um, and how they get the ETH is by the actual rewards. They they market sell um, twenty percent to actually generate that ETH. Um, so seventy percent of it goes um, to the deep farming vault, Sem and then seventy percent of that delta um, goes to the deep farming vault. Twenty percent is permanently um, locked, basically burnt, and ten percent goes to the death fund of the ETH. Twenty five percent of the ETH goes to the deep farming vault. Um, twenty five percent goes to the core farming vault. So this is how it ties into the core ecosystem, also. And then fifty percent of these goes to the ETH goes to the dev fund. So people might say, "Oh, well, why is it going to the dev fund? Greedy devs, greedy devs." But I mean, these devs are good devs. Um, they need to get paid. They they use that money to do things. They've done all this. They've set up this token. They've set all this up. Um, they're basically developing this dex. Um, they are the core devs that have done all the cool things, all the great things for core. Um. I mean, realistically, if you want you if you want this coin to do well, this project to do well, this ecosystem to do well, obviously the devs have got to get paid. So you should be more than happy that this is going in there. And like like when I think about it, like with Wise fully decentralized, they're not getting any more. They they don't get any money. There's no pre pre mined tokens for them. I kind of in a way like I wish that there was. I wish they had money. Um, so that they could pay devs so that they could basically push out things quicker and faster and then drive the price up higher um, It's not necessarily a bad thing centralization is not a bad thing look at look at the the uh, success at the moment of um, of the fully decentralized um, Binance smart chain um, Like I said, we're in this to make money guys. We're not we're not ideologues. Um, we're in this to make money um, Who cares if they sprinkle on a bit of centralization this bit of a bit of devs getting paid um, just to, so they can they can do what's necessary to pump out bags. Basically, if the devs are incentivized to drive the pro to drive the project, then um, then that's not good for anybody, is it? So anyway, um, so I'm not gonna go too much into into this. Um, but also, when you when you stake your delta and then you want to take it out. Um, you have to wait a certain amount of time basically to get it all and if you if you basically end that early um, You forfeit some of the tokens so that basically there are lots of ways to delay you getting full access It's in a nutshell in a nutshell guys. There are lots of ways to delay you um, Getting access full access to your funds to dump um, and then during that process of you being delayed um, That is that is providing liquidity to basically the um, the core decks um, for its options and its futures trading um, if you basically do choose to um, sell those tokens or move them early when you're getting them um, you can you get a part portion of them and the rest of that goes to goes to feed the yield of the ecosystem um, and I mean that is it there isn't a lot to tell you guys really um, it's not like I've looked at this completely under a microscope I, I have I have um, done a lot of research on it I have um, read all these media articles I have spoke um, uh, a lot to some of the people in the telegram chats just so I fully understand how it works and fully understand what we're going But in a nutshell in a nutshell. This is a this is kind of one of those um, It's got a lot of upside and obviously a, a, a big upside um, And then yeah the downside of what you've invested prepare to lose prepare to lose everything um, But like I said core is doing well. Um, I expect this core devs 
Codex will materialize. I expect this will all work very well. Um, I expect the devs will keep uh, developing going forwards. I've, I have a lot of confidence in these guys. Um, I have a lot. They have a proven track record. Uh, a proven track record. So, so but yeah, that's all. So what you need, all you need to do if you do want to buy into this. Obviously, Ethereum um, <clears throat> gas fees are quite high. Um, maybe you want to wait for them to go down. Um, but obviously, this is the sliding scale of you getting 30% extra um if you put it in early also 10 percent if you use my link which i'll put um here so it's just a delta financial join um i think i posted it in the telegram chat um, i'll post it all in there i'll post the medium uh um the medium link to their page so you can then check out any of these articles i'll i'll um include the link to this core decks um but yeah i'm pretty excited i'm pretty excited about this like i said if we refresh refresh this um, see if it's got, see if it's gone up. I can't remember what it was now. Was it three thousand uh, two hundred and something? Um, is it gonna is it gonna show me? Am I gonna have to scroll on it? Um, yeah, it was. I think it was like three thousand. Yeah, it's about that. Um, but obviously, it did jump up pretty quick because people wanted to get that extra, um, that extra, um, extra. Oh, this is why I've got to connect this, um, and then it will basically show me. There you go, three thousand uh, two hundred eighty six. It is ticking up. It is ticking up. Um, so yeah, I I, do, I think I've got a lot of confidence um, in this team. Um, that is not to say they will be successful with what they're trying to do. Um, but um, if I was to want want a team back in my investment, it would be this one. Um, and yeah, that that is why I'm in it. Um, this is not a financial advice. <clears throat> I'm not a financial advisor. Like I like I said, hand on heart, guys. Um, this is nothing to do with this referral program. Um, I invested in um, in lots of coins recently, um, and um, obviously after Wise, Wise was a good one. Wise made people a lot of people a lot of money, a lot of X's on Wise. Um, even if it was just a case, if it was making you hold your Ethereum, buy your Ethereum, hold your Ethereum, and then you then got sold it um, with some extra premium on top of that Ethereum um, gains as well. Um, but <laughs> that was the last good project really that I've seen. Um, obviously, there's pre-sales that I've got into, but I can hardly do a video saying get in this pre-sale, guys, because there's always only limited allocation. Um, but this one, this one, um, this one is easy enough for people to get into. Um, so, so yeah, that is it. That is why I'm doing this video. I am getting into this. I am pretty excited about this project. Um, I do kind of like. I do feel like I missed a trick when I missed like the whole the the core. Um, and the the Wi-Fi um, and all those things and I think this is my opportunity I think personally myself this is my opportunity to get into one of these good projects that will be paying me out a return that will be um, <clears throat> doing good good and great things um, will be could be could obviously do very well so that is it guys 22 minutes long video um, hope that is not too long um, yeah so links in description thank you for listening guys this is not a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor. You should all do your own research always. And the links to do that research are in the description. Thank you for listening. And I shall speak to you guys in the morning.